Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was de designing this for a customer, and I thought I'd show how I did it. It's going to be a large frame. I think it's uh, 36 by 26 on the outside, and I've uh, added some engraving lines on the letters uh, so the customer could see what it would actually look at, look like. So I thought I'd just share how I did this. So we're going to start off, and I just have a text. A font that is click on that and the font is deadhead script which I got it from DA fonts I'm going to take that font and I'm going to left click right click and make it a hairline I'm going to do the same thing to this font left click right click so now I've got all this is hairline I can take it all and go up to object and convert them to a curve then you could weld this but sometimes it's just easier in my looking at it use the virtual segment delete key and just delete these lines that you do not want because um, a lot of times if you if you didn't do it in a particular order that some of the uh, stuff will remove but before we go any further and I'm glad I remembered. Sorry about that. You uh, make a duplicate of this. Control D. And we're going to move it over out of the way. Now we can finish deleting these lines. And we can delete all these lines because we got a copy of it. Now we're going to zoom in closer to the smaller font. And we're going to delete all these lines we do not need. And what the lines are hairlines, so it will cut. And you can always take your virtual segment delete key and do that. Uh, select it all. Let's zoom in here a little bit more. Like we don't need that line. We don't need that line. We don't need any line that goes past our object. But I need to look back zoom out a little bit and look back here and we do need to I'll probably just end up deleting this whole little box but that'll that'll work and just continue deleting these lines I went too far we don't need that line deleted we need this line deleted and that line deleted you want to continue the letter. So just real quickly here. And you could have definitely used the, the, the well tool on this, but sometimes this to me is just easier. Almost done here. Let's zoom in here. Get our virtual segment delete key back. We'll go ahead and delete that line and that line and that line. Because you want to you want the letters to be filled in. And one thing I failed to do is put the um, the outside box. So now we have all of what we needed done. Now we need to create another box, another rectangle. And for the video, we'll call that good enough. We'll hit P because the other one was in the center of the page. Now we can take our Smart Fill tool. Let's turn it to black. And fill it in. And that's what it's going to look like. Now by using the Smart Fill tool, and now we can cursor it down. And then left click, right click on hairline. You can look over here, it's 500 points, so we need to make sure we change this back to a hairline. So that one's done. We don't really need this anymore. But because we're using the nudge distance, it's always going to be the same. Now here's our copy. And what we want to do now is do just the opposite. We want to delete like this line and this line. Whoop. You know, that'll work. And then that line and this line. 
Okay. Nope, went too far. We want to delete this inner part. So using your virtual segment delete key, you can do that right there. Now we can delete this. Then take this line and it'll connect them both and go up and get your pen tool and change it to something other than a hairline and make it black so it will ingrain. Okay, now you now you can cursor over because your virtual segment delete key is the same. So now you have engravable lines in your cut line. So let's move that out of the way just one more time. So all this will cut out, but then when you engrave that, that'll be like that. So that will engrave it, kind of make it look like the letter continues. Same thing on the on the smaller numbers. We want these lower parts to engrave. So we need to take our virtual segment delete key and delete some of these other lines. We don't need any of these. You don't need any of these upper ones, so we're going to select them all. We missed one right there and one right there. And we don't need that. Do, don't need that. Really don't need that. And don't need that. And we definitely don't need that. Whoop. Went too far. Now we can take and click on this and go back to our pen tool and make it something other than a hairline and make it black so it will engrave. And we actually need to delete, I missed one line on top, a couple of lines. That looks good. Now, because your nudge factor is still the same, you can select all this and nudge it over. And there you go. That way, this will engrave, but it'll be cut. So let's move it out of the way so you can imagine what it looks like. That'll cut on your laser. This will engrave. So it looks like the numbers continued in the wood. So basically, you'll end up doing this right here. And I think I'm going to do one more video to show how to get this grain effect. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.